Alright guys, how you doing? It's Ralph here and we're back again with another career sim. Today, we're going to be doing Phil Foden. Obviously, I know I say it a lot, but it pains me. It pains me because, you know, he's a... Uh, he plays for Manchester City, but I'm a Man United fan. But you know what? I'm not going to sit here and disrespect his name. Incredible footballer. He's an incredible talent. I really hope he does well in the future because, you know, you just, you know, don't let the club rivalry, like, ruin who you want players to be because in the end of the day, if he becomes, like, a world-class player, it's only going to help me in the long run because I'll still be supporting him for England 100%. So, I do think that he's going to be very good. Obviously, watched a lot of him. I really do think he shouldn't be... I don't know. I think I think Guardiola uses it, like, doesn't use him enough. 23 games. How many were starts, though? I doesn't have that data. It doesn't have the data. But I'm not too sure. He does not start him all that often. He started him a little bit more this season, but this season they're not doing as well as uh, usual. You know how it is. Um, so yeah, he looks he looks very good. He does look very good. He's definitely a wonder kid. We're doing a lot of these career sims where like they're all like wonder kids and stuff like that. Um, just an absolutely incredible talent. His determination's a little bit low for how what I would think he actually is. We've only been 14. Yeah, his first touch is 17, which is obviously, like, all of this sort of stuff is what he's excellent at. First touch, passing, technique. His finishing 14 as well. I didn't think that would be 14. It's probably a little bit high, isn't it? Uh, for what he really is, maybe. I might be just uh, a bit wrong, but uh, and his strength, 8, is too high, in my opinion. He's weak as. He's just really weak. <laughs> he's only 5'7". His strength probably should be lower than 8, to be I know 8's not high, but... It probably should be a little bit lower. But his agility, fantastic, that's true. He's he's um obviously this is big praise, but he's got a little bit of David Silver about him, the way he moves, the way he dribbles and stuff like that. So I definitely think that David Silver's definitely helped him. Obviously he's left now and he's probably doing great as well. But um yeah, back in Spain he's doing great. But uh this is what he looks like first time. Obviously with only four one appearances, we're gonna see how he does in a year's time. So I will catch his all in a second all right guys here we are back again uh so the first season's been concluded let's see how phil has done phil forden how's he done so he's now valued at 52 million jesus i don't know if that has changed so much but it seems like a lot um i know his strength is at eight so that's gonna have one <laughs> he's gone up in quite a lot of areas to be fair his passing and technique is still sublime let's check his stats Okay, 20 appearances, 1 goal, 2 assists. Um, wow, only 6 of them as a start though, 14 off the bench. So, yeah, not not the greatest. He only started 9 games overall. If you see down here, he only started 9 games overall in this entire year. So hopefully they can start starting him a bit more. Come on Pep, start him up or loan him out. Do one or the other. 22 on off the bench though. Average rating of a 6.91. 6 it's not too bad. It's not fantastic. Did he play as an attacker mid in the mall? No, he's been played around about, round and about. So midfielder, centre, mainly attacking midfielder. He's been played as four. Then he's been played as a left back in one game. I didn't expect that. I mean, he's got eight tackled in it, but he wouldn't be a very good left back. Let that's for sure. But uh, that's what he looks like at the end of the first season. Uh, we're going to go forward two seasons now. We're going to see how he looks at the end of those. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so it's been two years and we are about to check in on Phil Foden. Let's see how he's done, alright? Phil Foden, is he still at... Oh my god, he's at PSG. Phil Foden's at PSG now. He only transferred there this year. So... I don't know what to say. Let's see, let's see his stats, alright? Let's see how he did in that last season. For City, yep, he definitely had to leave, didn't Oh my god! 144 million. That is an insane amount of money. That That's an insane amount of money. 144 million for someone who played 12 games and got 2 goals and 1 assist. I mean, in all competitions he played 21, 4 goals, 3 assists. It's still not fantastic, is it? Let's be honest, but... Bloody hell. 144 million for him. He, I mean, he had a good season for them. Five goals, five assists in 21 games. Started 21 in 30. So, oh, in all competitions, 30, 
30 appearances in all competitions, 9 goals, 9 assists. That's that's excellent, to be honest. That's, that's a fantastic season for Phil Foden. Looked like he had to leave Manchester to uh, actually blossom into this sort of player. He's 23 right now. Let's see if he... Did they... So, they were the Coupe de France runners up and they won the... Um, they won the league, obviously. PSG won the league. Anyways, so here, here we go. So in his 2022 season, actually, they won the Club World Cup, they won the Community Shield, they won the Champions League and the Premier League. Wow, City had an insane season there, didn't they? 2021-2022, is that this year? Is that this year? No, it was last season. Okay, so... So last season, how did... 88 points, they won it quite clearly. No, they didn't. Two points clear. It was close. Very close, actually. Very close. Preston actually got promoted, though. I mean, they got they got straight relegated. They finished third. And did they go up? Oh, Borough got promoted. I'm fr I, I, I live in Borough, so well, near Borough. Wow, the sixth playoff team. So that's great for them. Happy days. Happy about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, a bit off topic, but yeah. Um, so yeah, happy about that. But anyways, City had a fantastic year. That's probably why Phil Foden didn't really play for them. He played, what, 12 games? Yeah, not fantastic. But you know, I'm glad that he's left and I'm glad he's at PSG. Hopefully, they'll play him a lot more than City did. And I'm really excited to see how his career turns out now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go five years. So I wonder if he's going to try and make PSG like an insane team. Maybe win the Champions League with them. He's already got that one Champions League winner's medal with City. But hopefully uh, hopefully he can do it with, with PSG as well. That would be fantastic for him. He's now got 24 caps for England with 7 goals. Again, exceptional stuff. Very proud. Very proud. So Phil... We'll come back and see you in five years and we'll see how you've done up until then. I wonder if you'll still be here or will he have moved on? You'll find out in a second. I'll find out in about two minutes. Well, actually, that's a lie. In about, probably about two years when I fully simulate the five seasons. Jesus. Right. <laughs> two seconds, guys. How y'all doing, guys? So here we are back again. It's been five years. Yeah, we're all getting old. We're all getting old. Let's check Phil Ford and I... Honest to God, can't remember where the hell he was at last time. Was it PSG? I think he might. Have, whoa, he's had a. He's tried to uh, to really help them, hasn't he? PSG. He's still there. He looks incredible. He's an elite attacking midfielder, according to the media. Uh, so he's not. He's not quite labelled as world class. He's obviously getting that PSG salary. That's why no one wants to buy him. 425k per week. <laughs> Jesus Christ, 420, 425k a week. God, Foden, calm down, son. He's on 79 caps with 19 goals for England. That's that's an incredible feat in on itself. His stats, we'll just take a quick look over. They look great. 19 first touch, 17 technique, 17 passing. 16 free kick taken as well, actually, with 17... Flair lead is off the ball. His leadership's not great. His position is not great either. But his vision's superb. Agility and balance are absolutely incredible as well. He'll be a fantastic player. Let's go over how his career has turned out. Yeah, of course. I forgot about that. That 144 million price tag. Jesus Christ. But whoa! Phil Foden has been incredible, lads. 37 appearances. 13 goals, 15 assists. I know that people say this to Farmers League, but that's madness. I can't believe no one's actually snatched him up, to be honest. 37 appearances, 13 goals, 15 assists in that. And then, followed up by that incredible season, he goes 12 goals, 17 assists. Oh my god, I'm not even looking. In all competitions, he scored 17 goals and got 20 assists. Then follows it up in all competitions in 54 games scored 17 goals and got 23 assists holy jesus he then turned to a more facilitator in his next season still scoring six goals but he got 18 assists all come he got in oh, wow 50 51 games right nine goals 24 assists holy jesus phil foden that is a madness 
That's that is that's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. In his next season, he fell off just a little bit, just a little bit for these high standards here. This is like Ballon d'Or worthy, Jesus. And then we've got like in his next uh, ten goals, seven assists. It's like bog standard by his bloody rate, but it's still a fantastic season. And then in the later season, seven goals, twelve assists. It's a good season again. He's played absolutely brilliantly. Let's take a look at his career milestones. Maybe we've um, maybe we found something. No, I don't even. Oh my god! Right, that's all over the shop. We'll go competitions. That's all we need to see. So, all the way back here. Let's have a look. So they played third in the Nations League. That's quite. Oh yeah, we saw that, didn't we? Before we saw that before. They did a double. They then did a treble. See, this this is not as fun for PSG because they're just going to win it every year. I mean, in the year 2026, they didn't win it. Went there. Oh my god, Leon! And they didn't win it and they were just the year just gone. Must have been second, right? Oh, look how close that was. What a season that is there. Tw 91 points for PSG. Who did, did Marseille beat them? Oh, that was the turning point. Marseille beat them twice. That's the turning point. That is a turning point. Marseille beat them twice. That's what helped them win the league. Wow. And then they, they had Leon as well win it. They had Leon win it as well in the year 2025. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> but anyways, um, do you know what? Let's have a look at the Ballon d'Or. FIFA Ballon d'Or. Let's have a look at this, alright? Wow, okay. So... Um... So no award given there. And then Aguero won it. Aguero, Bernardo Silva, Paulo Dybala. Then Mbappe won it. With Harry Kane second and Bernardo Silva again third. Mbappe won it again. Salah then Messi. Messi in the year 2023. Jesus Christ, Messi, alright. And then they've got, wow, Victor Osman third. Salah, who went to Real Madrid actually. Jesus, that's, that's cool. And then Mbappe won it again. Erling Haaland won it there at City in the year 2025. Osimhen and Mbappe came second, and then Sebasti Sebastiano, Sebastiano Esposito's won it back to back. Wow! I wonder if you guys would like to see me um, do a Sebastiano Esposito career, career, uh, career sim. Oh my God! I actually had the right words. I was just talking nonsense. I wonder if you guys would like me to do a Sebastiano Esposito career sim, because I'm not too sure just yet. Let make sure you let me know in the comments below. So, uh, going back to Phil Foden, I think that's all we've got to see, isn't it? Um, for now, obviously the video is not done yet. Don't worry, we've got. We're gonna, I'm going to see another five seasons into the future, and we are going to take a look at how he becomes at the age of 32. Let's see if he maybe settles back down in England for his, like his last stage of his career. Is he gonna? still just play a lot because of course his position's not as physically demanding so he could play there like at a very high level for when he's a bit older but we'll see what happens all right i'm very excited to see what goes down so i'll catch you all in five years off you five seconds right see you all in a bit all right guys so here we are uh, we're back again it's been another five years and we're here to take a look at Phil Foden's career so let's take a look at how it has done since we last checked in on him I think he, was Foden still at PSG I'm not too sure I know he was there before I think he was he was wow Phil Foden has turned into a PSG icon I wonder if Mbappe is still there Mbappe is still there we don't need to click on his profile okay go away please Thank you. Yeah, we, um, so yeah, him and uh, so Foden and Mbappe have turned into some sort of insane partnership. But he looks absolutely incredible still. He's lost a little bit of his pace. It's still good though. 14 pace is still not too bad at all. He's an elite attacking midfielder now. I think I don't know if it ever explained him to be world class. I'm not too sure. But his stats look incredible as you can see here, guys. Absolutely sublime. He's been brilliant. Let's take a look at his career stats. So we'll go back one, two, three, four. So there are five, five seasons. So, whoa. Phil Foden has been absolutely incredible, boys. He really has. 
Look at this here, 5, 35 appearances, 13 goals, 13 assists, average rate of 7.6, that's in the league. So in all competitions, he scored 15 goals, getting 17 assists in 47 games, so that is unbelievable. The next season, he just did even better, 36 games, 12 goals, 19 assists, in all competitions he played 53, scoring 18 and getting 25 assists. Wow, Phil Foden has been unbelievable in this career simulation here. Probably the best stat line that I've ever seen in a career sim. I don't know how many I've done so far. I think I think this might be my... Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Let's not talk about that though. <laughs> so, in his next one though, 44 appearances, 16 goals, 14 assists. I've ne This is the best I've seen anyone do though. Uh, I'll say that for sure. In the next season, he then scored 13 and got 9 assists in all competitions. He took a little bit of a dip with 8 goals and 8 assists. It's still fantastic, 7.34 average rated. Again, in his last season, 5 goals and 10 assists. He fell off a little bit with the goals, but his assists went up, so who the hell is going to complain about that? Obviously, he helped him. What the PSG are looking at, though, is if he has helped them to win the Champions League, which it looks like he has right there. So if we look here, they won the Coupe de France in the year 2033, what the hell happened? Did they not win the league? Second, who won? Marseille by one point, look how tight that is. Wow, Marseille by one point. Where the hell's Monaco? Oh, there, fourth, I'm blind apparently. No, but what, that, that's, that is just an incredible achievement. That is a great achievement. So they, so in the last season though, they had an insane campaign. Whoa, Ligue 1, Champions League, Coupe de France, and the Trophy de Champions. So they won four, four. Jesus Christ, they won four in one season. They won everything they're in. I think there. That's an absolutely incredible, incredible season for them there. So the next season they won Ligue 1 again and the Coupe de France. They then didn't win Ligue 1 for the next two years? Oh no, Ligue 1 Uber Eats champion, sorry, yeah. So, they didn't win it that year, in the year 2028, but they did win the truck. So they did win something in that year. They then went back to winning it in 2027, and then before that they didn't do anything in 2026, I bet the manager got sacked there, like, but in 2025 they, w they did not treble, so that's an another incredible season for them. So. It Incredibly enough, they only managed to pick up the Champions League one time while he's been there. Oh, he, but he also won it with uh, Manchester City. So he's got two for himself, but they only managed to win it one time. But I'm happy they were able to win that with him, and I bet, I bet he helped a bloody lot. <laughs> he definitely, definitely did. So... Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to go over, boys. I think we're actually finally done. Oh, wait, no, I'm definitely going to bring that up. He made 133 caps for England, scoring 31 goals. Incredible stuff that is there. Um, by the way, guys, if you want me... Because this is going to be the end of the career sim. If you want me to go over his Twilight years, just make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. It took a long time to film, though, so I don't know if I want to do that, but <laughs> we'll see. Eh? If enough of you want to see it, I'll do it, but who knows, right? Anyways, I really hope you all did enjoy the video. Remember to like, it really does help the channel out. And uh, subscribe to be notified of when some more career sims come out if you want to check them out too. Alright guys, so I really hope you all did enjoy the video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'm out.